Hey guys, Vanguard reports that the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, have announced an indefinite and complete strike scheduled to begin from midnight on Tuesday. This strike is a response to the assault on NLC President Joa Jero and other labor leaders by individuals believed to be thugs, which took place last Wednesday at the state secretariat complex in Uweri. The attack resulted in injuries to Ajaro and Savant and several others. The labor union have alleged the involvement of the state government in the assault and are calling for an apology and compensation for the victims. The state is currently experiencing a strike that has severely disrupted its economy and social activities, both public and private sector. Workers have followed the labor union's instructions. The state government has criticized the strike, considering it illegal and unpatriotic and has called on the workers to return to their jobs. Simultaneously, the state has been without electricity for more than a week now because of an attack on Ajaro, who also serves as the General Secretary of the National Union of Electricity Employees, NUEE. The NUEE has pledged to maintain the blackout until the state government addresses the concerns about the labor unions. This situation has brought about hardship and frustration for the state's residents who have turned to alternative power resources like generators and solar panels. Some residents are also anxious about the state security and stability particularly with a governorship election scheduled for Saturday. According to one of them who introduced himself as Igwe, we are afraid. We do not know what will happen next. Yes, we are afraid of the strike. You cannot do anything. We must come to work as we are here. If there is any issue, everybody will run away. The most painful part of it is a continued blackout. This is more than a week now. Emo people are suffering. We are in pains. We are dying of hunger. The federal government should come to our aid. Okay. When are they telling us, say, Nigeria is turning to something else? He be like, say, whether you, you don't know what they talk or you just want to talk. The present government should leave the office. We are tired of him. He's a criminal and also a murderer. He has killed so many people. Hmm. Hope Uzanima was a member of OBT. 419 Ward Fred Ajude. It's just Nigerians did not remember yesterday. At all the quick to forget things. Hope should not have come out to hold a public post of Nigeria in a country that respects rule of law and decency hmm? somebody is talking about rule of uh, rule of law in nigeria the election is the saving grace of indibo in Imo state they should chase away wicked people forever castigate whoever they see as wicked person in the political landscape and bid bye bye to them or whatever trans translation they can give it. Those who want to destroy our political development because their preferred candidate failed must be ready for the speculative repercussions. Which federal government is that? What should they do to the governor? Hmm. APC agenda, suffering and smiling. What a shame. The Imo, Imo State governorship election result has already been written in advance. And just keep in custody at Abuja in the favor of APC. 
that has smoked so much blood on the innocent youth. Whether the Imo residents vote for favor of APC or not, APC has been declared the winner. At some point, the First Lady of Nigeria had admonished the Imo residents to vote APC, which the voice of the wife of the President of Nigeria supported APC. So what next do you expect? Even if APC come last in the gubernatorial election, the First Lady of Nigeria appears to prefer Uzodima in Imo state, whether the Imo people likes it or not. APC has been declared winner. Quote me. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So. But I don't think this is nice. Oh. Nigerians, uh, Nigerian government should allow the people to vote their preferred candidates because these are one of the issues they are facing in, in Imo state. When you hear majority of them calling Supreme Court governor, they said they were not the one that voted in, in that it was a Supreme Court that, you know, imposed Governor Hope Zodema for them, on them. And now they want to start again. And all this lawlessness in this country have to stop. You understand? All this lawlessness in this country have to stop. At the end of the day, they are going to say, eh, nah, the politics now, when then they do the Labour Party, they play, they don't they play politics. But all this matter, don't they grant before? This is really misleading. All this matter don't they grant before. Because the government now go come to play victim. You understand? You have to treat people well. Treat your people well. They will sing your praises any day, any time. You see all this election when people they do giddy giddy. If you are doing the needful, you don't need to be, be going to house to house, be telling people to come and vote for me. People who want to vote for you because they know that you did your job. Look at what the, the, the Imo State Governor faced the other day in Imo State University. It was a very shameful thing. It was really very disgracing when the students are now booing him. A whole governor. That means something is wrong with you. Well, Nigerians, I bet make a drop on for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.